the big thing that really contributed to my situation was having to deal with soldier suicide um, and being on these investigation teams. One night, Sergeant Ames had the unfortunate uh, unfortunate uh, happenstance that he found his roommate dead by his own hand by suicide with a weapon. I had come back from being out all day. Uh, on a mission, it was a, a human service mission off off of uh, off of uh, the Cobb into Tikrit. I noticed under my window there was a oblong hole in the wall. I went, opened the door, stepped in, and it was stark quiet in there. Um, there was a little odor. It almost smelled like body odor. Um, but what was even more pungent on top of that was the sulfur smell. And that's the smell after uh, a weapon discharge. I never even suspected what I was going to find. I took one step into my side of the housing unit and I couldn't believe what I saw. Uh, there was shit all over the place red and yellow shit and wood chips. I looked at my uh, wall unit, my closet unit, and there was a big freaking hole in the door of it. That's where all those wood chips came from. And uh, I quickly looked at my desk and I had a, a can of spray cheese uh, in there that was sitting on top of my laptop right next to my pillow and that was completely mangled and and exploded that's what the yellow shit was all over the place and then I looked beyond my pillow and I could see a little hole in the wall just above the pillow and that's where the projectile went out through the wall that's what that hole that I saw outside was and then as my eyes started to focus over there, I saw his foot sticking out, but it was at the head of his bed, not at the foot of his bed. His feet would have been facing me. And I'm going in my head, I'm understanding now what is probably the issue. I stepped to his bed and I looked down and he was slumped down in the bed and I pulled back the cover a little bit because the end of his M16 was pointing out and uh, uh, his eyes were sort of semi-open um, I came up to his neck and his shoulders and I felt uh, I leaned over and on the right side of his head, there was a um, pretty good sized round hole. And that's, uh, you know, I didn't, it, I didn't really see powder burns, but the hole was there. I knew what happened at that point, but I was still in automatic mode and focused on life saving. Um, and then I moved my left hand and my right hand up along the back of his head and my left hand went right into the back of his head and his head was was empty there was there was nothing in there his brains were gone that was all that red shit that was on my side of the room I just dropped everything and I took off running to the gate and I grabbed Jeff in my arms and I held him I told him how much I loved him. 
and that it wasn't his fault. And I was so sorry that he had to walk in on that. You know, a suicide is, is a brutal thing because you don't just, uh, the person that commits suicide just doesn't injure themselves. They injure everybody around them, psychologically, spiritually, uh, even sometimes physically. And this is where PTSD comes in, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. It may not happen to a person because of a single incident, uh, even though that's, that's possible, but when you have a series of incidents that build up to that, um, it's things, you know, smells, some sounds, sudden reactions, uh, surprises, uh, and as I said, just, just stress that builds up over time if you don't release it properly. Um, that that can trigger an event. I I still struggle today with my symptoms. Are they as severe? No. Um, when you face a traumatic event, your body reacts physically, mentally, and emotionally in in various ways and in very extreme ways sometimes. Normal reactions to a traumatic event can be nightmares, in the inability to sleep, or the opposite, sleeping all the time, no appetite whatsoever, or a voracious appetite, wanting to eat everything. Intense and intrusive flashbacks. All these things are normal reactions to a traumatic event. If you're suffering from PTSD, stay hopeful that there's a better tomorrow. That you can be a better husband, a better father, a better parent, a better mother, a better child, a better friend tomorrow than you are today because as you heal. Stay hopeful and remember your progress. It may be small, you may slide backwards at times, but remember your progress and keep moving forward and don't quit. Whatever you do, don't 